Hey, what's up, folks? It is Soul here to give you all at home and on the toilet the very best wishes and a happy 2020. I just got home from out of town and there is a lot for me to work on and stuff is still closed because my hair is all crazy. But anyway, before all that, a bit of an update on the channel, how things are doing, how I'm doing and yada, yada, yada. So if you're not interested in me getting all personal, then feel free to leave check back soon because i'm gonna have more videos and guides on the way bye all right they're gone now for the good stuff at the start of 2010 i was i was at a pretty low point i had no job i was running out of money i didn't know what to do with myself and the past 10 years was an absolute roller coaster and during that i took my career in a really different direction i got married uh, and i've met tons of people I overcame a lot of fears, I took chances, and I lost my very best friend in the world. But on this first day of a brand new decade, it's impossible to say where I'm going to be at the end. None of us really know, right? So I'm going to talk about what I want to do right now, because I'm hungry. I've been doing this youtube stuff for like three and some years now, and without question, it's like the most fun job that I've had. And you know this because I'm still doing it even though it doesn't quite pay for much of anything really. So it goes without saying, but I owe everything to my wife who has seen just how much I love doing what I do. The second best thing for me to do would be to take what she's given me and to own that 100% and super put my heart into it so that she knows that this opportunity hasn't been wasted. Of course, the best thing for me to do would be to bring in some actual money, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Right, so what are my goals for 2020? It basically sums up to this picture. I want to be invited to whatever the heck upcoming Blizzard Media Summit thing that's going to happen this year. Now, I've been recognized over the past two BlizzCons, and I was invited as a media guest. That is dope. But now I want more. I would love to visit the campus for the first time and ask some of those tough questions we're all dying to, to ask. Like, something, something, player housing, when, right? I'd also love to be invited to BlizzCon as a media guest for a third year, and this time really dive into it. Like, I want to stream on the floor, um, you know, showing off the, whatever the new thing is. I want to be in those more personal interviews with senior developers. I want to be featured on Wildhead on MMO Champion that, hey, I did whatever the heck it is that I did. To do that, that'll mean taking steps to increase my presence on social media, but it may also mean an increase on single topic videos focused on reporting what's going on, share a few thoughts, and encourage some discussion, you know, kind of like reaction video type things that I do every now and then. These won't necessarily be designed to bring in the dough as much as it is to keep a kind of consistent voice out there. For example, this could get the attention of uh, like podcasters who might be interested in what I have to say, even if I'm not particularly skilled at a certain aspect of the game, like PvP or dungeons or anything, but at least still have a fun conversation about shared interests. The Weekly, or Warcraft Weekly, it's not going to be changing much. That's the place where I like to... You know, it's the place where I like to get a little silly and experimental with all the different segments. It's where I can... I don't know, expand my creative outlet. I'm still gonna cover highlights with some sassy commentary and and Bob needs you know, somewhere to go, right? Statistically, what brings the money into the channel are the guides, the add-on features, and sometimes stuff on lore. Uh, sometimes they hit a home run. So you can expect those to get kicked up a notch. I do love talking game design fan fiction and suggesting cool ideas. That's really like the bread and butter of what I love to do, the whole armchair design stuff. Those are still going to come in, but with this year being a year for an expansion launch, there's going to be a lot coming in the alpha and the beta, whenever the heck that comes in. And that's going to take up a lot of bandwidth, but will in, but it will eventually inspire new ideas. Collaborating with other content creators is still probably going to be my biggest struggle like this year or ever it's partially why i didn't do a big collab for the holiday video and predictably this year's bombed as well so <laughs> not a big deal oh, gosh it's like it's like people are looking for useful information go figure another item that really fell off last year was when i would occasionally do a thing on a protection paladin 
when it comes to gear or raids or dungeons. So the plan for this upcoming tier is to do a series of basic guides that goes through the Nihilotha bosses from a tank perspective early on, within like the first two weeks or so of the season, followed by some raw footage of my guild's progression. It's gonna be colorful. You can bet on that. It might be a bit late in the game for me, Okay, it's definitely late in the game for me, but I'm going to try once again at tanking Mythic Plus dungeons at a level that I'm comfortable at, which will probably be low keys because I know that I don't need to grind 15s just to clear the raid on Heroic. So in this case, I'm going to bring guildmates and I'll be tapping into our WoW community as well. So check the link below and join it. The original idea way back in the day was to publish some of these runs with commentary, whether they were good or bad runs, so that you folks can use them as a learning tool or a place to just talk smack about my skill level, you know, whatever your flavor. Uh, this still might work out terribly, but hey, we'll just need to try to find out. For the streaming, oof, so <laughs> uh, I do enjoy the streaming and interacting directly with you folks live. It's a lot of fun, and in like two years, unfortunately it hasn't grown. So there's gonna be a lot for me to consider, such as what it is I do while streaming. I mean, just doing world quests and other chores probably won't bring the viewers in, but maybe watching the dumpster fire that's me learning dungeons this late in an expansion? Hey, it could be really cringy, but equally entertaining. I don't know. That's just an example, but the idea, apart from the barking dog outside, is to just do more interesting things while on stream, while interacting with those of you who come and visit. Other things that I'm considering are also like a bigger variety of games to stream or changing up the time slots, so uh, stay tuned for those changes. Last but not least are the Patrons, the Patrons. So, give or take some name flubs, I try to do my best to acknowledge all of your guys' contributions to the channel. So the plan is to, at least once a month, make some sort of exclusive video for them, whether it's a status update, something that's more personal, behind the scenes footage, something. And I may try to do something, I need to double check how Patreon works, but I want to do maybe some drawing with the patrons where maybe you get a chance at some swag, depending on how much you throw down, or if you throw down at all, and everyone gets an equal, uh, an equal uh, raffle ticket, whatever. And maybe you'll get a mug, or a shirt, or something branded that uh, I'm going to uh, introduce. And I do plan on introducing more, more artsy stuff, so it might be fun. Another goal that I have for the channel, and this is a big one, um, I want to take the number of subs that I have, and I want to double it. I just want to double the whole operation, the revenue, the traffic, all that stuff. It sounds crazy, but with the Shadowlands announcement being more or less well-received, there's momentum that we can take advantage of. Of course, this isn't going to happen until I at least hit all of these marks and keep producing the kind of material that I want to make and that people want to watch. So I want your feedback. I want your questions, your suggestions, and probably most important, your encouragement and your enthusiasm. Anything can happen this year. So I implore you, please, please join me for the ride. I'm going to try to guide you with a reasonably level head and a little bit of bob here and there. So yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. I better get to work. So I will see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe. Stay happy, stay breezy, bark, 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 and have a great new year.